Hey guys, so it is the season of tomatoes. If you can see all the tomato plants, um, it is a season of fresh basil and fresh herbs. And so I figured in this video, we would make homemade sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil and, and herbs. It is so good and so tasty and there's so many different recipes you can make with it. But as you can see, my tomatoes are still green. Oh, it's so frustrating. Usually, um, they turn red way faster, so I'm going to have to trade with my sister-in-law and trade her some fruits for some of her tomatoes. But let's get started on making sun-dried tomatoes. So I just cut these Roma tomatoes. I got these from my sister. I traded her apples and spaghetti squash and she traded me um, tomatoes and a few other things. Anyway, so I wanted to get some Roma tomatoes and dehydrate them, not all the way to the point where they're completely dry, but um, I just wanna dehydrate them enough that um, they will last when I make sun-dried tomatoes. And then I am going to pick some fresh basil. I have like, I have like five plants, no, six plants all together. So it will be perfect. Oh, I just love the smell of basil. I'm also going to pick some fresh oregano. If you do not have fresh oregano, of course you can use dried oregano. But fresh is always better, of course. Okay, so the tomatoes have been in the dehydrator for 12 hours. Let's take a look to see what they look like. Um, I also have some um, grapes that my sister-in-law gave me, so I'm turning them into raisins at the same time. Let's check them. All right, so if you can see, they are shriveling, them, shriveling up, um, but they are not quite to where I want them to be. They need to be um, basically really dry but pliable. All right guys, it's been about 24 hours now and we can check on the tomatoes now. Oh, these are looking way better. If you see, they're kind of pliable, but they are definitely drying out. These are almost perfect. A lot of these are done, um, especially the bottom layer. Um, some of them will need to be on here just a little bit longer. All right. So these are perfect. They're dried out to the consistency I want. Um, and of course, if you do not have a dehydrator, you can um, put them in the oven at 170 and cook it until it dehydrates also. Um, you can try the sun method. Um, if you have a lot of sun, it's perfect. Um, if you do not, um, I tried it last year and they ended up not working out end up getting moldy because it would get cold at night and it just did not work out okay guys so now it's time to start assembling all the ingredients that you washed and prepared already um these are recycled jars these were old peanut butter jars um, i'm sure you have seen in a lot of my videos you always see jars in the background well i always keep all my jars so i can recycle for like recipes like this and then of course you can always paint the top um, so it looks prettier. A lot of times I do chalkboard paint so then I can write on it what it is. All right, so let's get started. First you want to layer these. So I'm gonna do two at the same time so I make sure I have an even amount. Oops. Um, so I'm gonna just layer them with tomatoes first. That looks pretty good. Um, now you want to put one garlic clove and a few basil leaves. It's okay, you can have a lot or a little. And then some oregano. And like I said, you can use dried oregano if you don't have um, fresh oregano. It is fine either way. 
Um, then you want to take salt. Um, use kosher salt or um, it, the salt helps preserve it basically so it makes it last longer. Um, and then of course layer it again with more tomatoes, dried tomatoes. So I put about four garlic cloves in each jar. Um, the last ingredient you will want is some extra virgin olive oil, or just olive oil, that's fun too. And then just fill each jar up till all the tomatoes and all the ingredients are completely covered. This also helps preserve them, of course. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? And it smells really good. If you could smell these tomatoes, they smell so good. There we go. And then just push all the ingredients to make sure they are all submerged into the oil. And if it's not, you can always add more oil. Um, if you have more tomatoes, add more tomatoes. Um, they are perfect for gifts, um, for the holidays. And make sure you do not um, eat them until, I would say, wait at least two weeks so all the ingredients can kind of mend together and you can get great flavor. And then of course, lastly, put the lid on. And like I said, you can always paint the lid and then kind of decorate it with a ribbon around the side for a great gift idea. These are amazing, amazing flavor. And afterwards, do not waste the oil or the herbs. You can cook your chicken or your pork or anything else in the oil. Um, there's a really yummy appetizer. I love making with some dried tomatoes. Um, I'll put a link down below. Um, it's a link to the homemade um, cream cheese, which also has the appetizer in it, so you can see how to make it with the sun dried tomatoes. Um, there's so many different recipes that you can make with sun dried tomatoes. This will last um, probably about a good year in the oil if it actually lasts and you don't eat it. But really, that's all there is to it. Very, very simple recipe. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos and share it and put it on your playlist and all that. Thank you so much, guys.